Hello, everyone, and welcome to this market update. I'm Winnie Sun, an award-winning financial advisor and managing partner of Sun Group Wealth Partners. Today, we're going to share some points about the ever-changing current economic landscape. So let's start with where we are now. Well, the global stock market has experienced significant gains, giving investors reasons to be optimistic. However, lurking in the background is what we call the cardboard box recession, which is sort of a unique phenomenon that has impacted the manufacturing and trade sectors while service industries have remained resilient. But that's not all. Another area of concern is a recent focus on treasury bond issuance. Now that the debt ceiling issue has been resolved, the Treasury Department plans to issue a substantial amount of new bonds. So what does this mean for investors? We're going to dive into details and explore the potential impacts on the market. So sit back and join me as we dive into the cardboard box recession in today's market update. First things first, let's start by understanding the nature of the cardboard box recession and how it may affect the economy. What is this? Well, it's just an analysis of the demand of cardboard boxes. This has become a focal point of discussion among financial analysts. The term describes the current contraction in the manufacturing and trade sectors, leading to a decrease in the demand for cardboard boxes. Surprisingly, the demand for these seemingly simple products has historically served as a reliable indicator of upcoming economic downturns. However, this downturn may come with a silver lining. You see, the decline in manufacturing prices, including the prices of cardboard boxes, has often preceded a decrease in overall inflation by approximately six months. That's right. This potential drop in inflation could provide a much needed boost for US markets, offering relief from the burden of high costs and rising interest rates that corporations have really been grappling with. Okay, now let's shift our focus to the outlook for the second half of this year, 2023. Now, while the cardboard box recession raises concerns about the job market and of course earnings pressure, its impact on stock returns is expected to be limited, particularly if the weakness remains confined to mostly manufacturing and the trade sectors. Now looking ahead, there is anticipation of a shift from shortages to overages in the global market for goods. Now this shift, along with the expectation of job cuts, is something that we're watching very closely. Additionally, there have been discussions about the European Central Bank, potentially pausing rate hikes due to improving inflation trends. As a result, international stocks are predicted to outperform their U.S. counterparts here in the United States in the coming months. However, it's important to note that emerging market stocks will remain sensitive to the ongoing tensions that continue to exist between the United States and China. The resolution of these tensions or any escalation could have a significant impact on the performance of emerging markets and add to volatility. So in summary, while the cardboard box recession presents challenges, the potential decline in inflation does bring us hope and optimism. So we'll take it. As we navigate the second half of 2023, we'll be keeping a very close eye on market developments and how they may affect your financial goals. So remember that navigating the ever-changing landscape of the financial markets requires careful consideration and strategic planning. If you have any questions or concerns regarding your investment portfolio or financial goals, please don't hesitate to reach out to our team at Sun Group Wealth Partners because we are here to provide you and your loved ones guidance and support every step of the way.